It's Medview's new connection to Dubai, and there's a ripple of excitement at the Muritila Mohammed International Airport in Lagos. It's an all green celebration signaling the beginning of a new commercial venture. In no time, a long queue is formed as passengers complete their check in formalities for the trip, but on board the airline's Boeing 767. There's a retinue of eminent Nigerians joining the meeting flight. They include the representative of the Minister of State for Aviation, the Minister of Women Affairs, Royalty from Lagos, Super Eagle striker Diori Galu at the management of the airline. In another one hour, Abuja, the federal capital, is inside, and 40 more passengers come on board, bringing the load factor to about 80%, by no means a mean feat for an inaugural flight. A very good beginning, and you're also aware that Nigeria, the Federal Ministry of Transportation, is making frantic efforts to see that we establish a national career. And this is in the offing, and by God's grace, it will materialize very soon. As the aircraft gets airborne for another six hours, ten minutes to its Dubai destination, some passengers are happy that yet another Nigerian carrier has taken up the challenge to ply the route. This government has always encouraged uh, local content in everything we are doing and patronage of uh, Nigerian goods and including Nigerian airlines. Uh, this is one of the best uh, local airlines that we have that are running this route. And, uh, this is very convenient. The price is affordable, more affordable. If, in fact, it is the cheapest. If you go to internet, you find that Medview fares, uh, uh, both local and uh, international, are the cheapest. And it is not that it is given any less service. And in any case, uh, this flight, uh, as was announced by the captain at the beginning of the flight, said it is taking us direct to Dubai in six hours, ten minutes. Emirates have never done it this quick. Then the managing director addresses everyone on board. I want to say to you all a big thank you for making this day a special day for entire people of Nigeria that have chosen to patronize an indigenous carrier called Medview. At about 12.30 a.m. on Friday, December the 8th, the Dubai International Airport is in sight. 24 hours after landing, Medview Airline gets an official welcome into the airport community. Our main focus is the happiness of our passengers and the satisfaction of our passengers. If you provide more choices, the passengers will be happy. Whether they are passengers from Nigeria or passengers from Dubai or passengers from across the world connecting to Nigeria or connecting to other places in the world where Medview is providing this connectivity. So Medview flight is really important for us because we're increasing our network, we're increasing our choices to our final customer, which are our passengers. Next is the press conference. Here, the airline reveals it's not taking the journey alone, but with partners in the Dubai aviation community. A networking dinner with the business community as the ambassador and consul general of Nigeria to the United Arab Emirates in attendance. And for the country's top representative, the word is, be consistent. But I want you to understand that you can't make the confidence of your passengers. You have to be always prompt, no cancellations. And no delays on the on the ground or in or in and out. With this, you can cultivate the confidence of the passengers to know that they will not fly and be abandoned. With this inaugural fly, the flag carrier airline says it's on the route to stay, promising affordable fares, a rich Nigerian cuisine on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. And another juicy part is that all passengers flying five times are entitled to a six ticket. Inclement weather is taking a toll across the world. Starting here at home, the recent haze caused by the Hamatan has led to huge flight cancellations and delay among airlines in the country. This comes on the heels of the warning by the Nigerian Civil Aviation Authority to air travelers within the country to exercise restraint during the season. So far, flights to the northern parts of the country, especially to Kaduna, Sokoto, Dutsi and Bochi have either been delayed or outrightly cancelled 
due to bad weather conditions and lack of modern navigational equipment. That's going to be very sad because what I'm going for I should, should, be going, should be starting from this evening, so that will be sad if I can't fly today. But what I would say is uh, safety first. You know, if it's not safe to fly, then there's no need to fly. The problem is the alternatives to get to destination are not available here. If it were in another climb, perhaps I would have joined uh, a train or traveled by road. But now the, the rate of security uh, incidents along the road, armed robbers, Fulani Hesmen attacks, and some other issues on the road. Uh, I'm skeptical about exploring any alternatives. While other countries with advanced landing facilities can operate, zero visibility is failing in the face of heavy snow, as hundreds of flights were cancelled at Heathrow Airport in London, as large parts of the UK were hit by heavy snowfall. Snow was seen in large parts of the island country, including Wales, the Midlands and parts of northern and eastern England. In Wales, accumulated snow was high as 30 centimetres. According to authorities at Heathrow, the reason why so many flights have been cancelled and suspended is that the airlines are de-icing planes. British Airways was the airline influenced most, with more than 140 short-haul flights and 26 long-haul flights cancelled and tens of thousands of passengers detained at the airport. Meanwhile, many flights from other European countries could not land on the airport, and some even had to return back to the places of departure. The number of passengers detained at the airports across Europe was as many as 20,000. The arrival hall of Heathrow Airport was piled up with a large amount of luggage, while passengers were told that they could not reschedule their flights at the airport. In addition, the large number of visits to the website of airlines led to a denial of service. Flights were already suspended at Birmingham Airport and roads affected in Wales, the Midlands and Northern and Eastern England and in the United States. Passengers were seen sleeping and resting on the floor in Atlanta's airport as flights across the southern United States faced delays and cancellation due to bad weather. Delta Airlines cancelled more than 600 flights due to inclement weather at its Atlanta hub as a winter storm travels towards the northeast, threatening more cancellations and delays. And this is where we call it a day on the program. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Bukola Joe Okitumbi.